Good way to start off the day. We're paddling past these massive cliffs along the shore of the Porcupine River and uh, we came across this cave. I believe it's called the Eye Cave because when you paddle in and you look straight up, there's a perfect hole and you can see the sky through it. Who knows what the fascinating story of what created this plates and erosion and ice ages and all kinds of interesting geology. Here we are on one of very few portages on this Porcupine River trip. I think we only have four altogether. None of the portages are very flat, but they're just really rugged. So you, you want to be careful. Um, there's some slippery rocks and, and a lot of it just goes over bald rock too. So you want to make sure that uh, you can follow this trail and uh, that you don't slip. We're just going to bang off this portage and grab a bite to eat. Tori found a nice place to eat lunch right beside the fall, so I'm excited because I'm getting hungry. When you get hungry, you know, we kind of start arguing a little bit more. Sometimes you don't have to portage the rapid, but you can't run it. So what do you do? You line it. Now the best way to line a boat when you're lining with one person is from a single rope from the stern and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm basically just going to guide the canoe down the river using ropes as I run along shore. Lining can be pretty dangerous, I mean you got to be careful. There's still potential to lose your boat, your boat washed down river with your entire outfit. There's potential that you crash into a rock, that you pin, that you wrap your boat and potential that you yourself fall in, slip into the water while you're doing it. So I always like to wear a good life jacket while I'm lining as well. How was that? I beat the portage. Big time. I'm just really enjoying this stretch of river. It's just all of a sudden gotten a lot more rugged and mountainous. Big cliffs everywhere, caves, waterfalls. Really, really cool scenery and it seems like there's a bald eagle around every corner. So we pulled over here on the Porcupine River. It's the end of day nine. We're almost at the confluence with the Fond du Lac. And I caught more fish than I can eat today. So instead of wasting the meat, I'm gonna uh, smoke one of the pike that I caught. So I'm gonna show you how that's done. Before we put it over the fire to start smoking, we're just gonna add some seasoning. A rack set up. So the next step is we're gonna wrap a tarp around this whole rig to just hold the smoke in there. There is our smokehouse. Okay, so it's the next morning and we've got our fish smoking in here. Some delicious smoked fish. That's lunch for today. Now it's time to pack up and we're headed into the lower canyon on the Porcupine. Um, this part of the river is known as Dead Man's River. The portage trails are treacherous too, so toughest part of the trip coming up. There's the falls that we're portaging around. Straight up. No, this is the wrong trail. We blew it. Yeah, I think the portage trail's up here. I knew we should have scouted it. It makes a lot more sense, but then where we started, it looked like a perfect trail. I'm thinking. Oh geez, you know, why would the trail start so far from the falls, but you look here, it's a perfect trail. And a little eddy, it must have just been an animal trail. And so we get everything ready, I make it 10 steps, boom, nothing. <laughs> so I guess uh, scouting the portage trail out is a good idea. Lesson, lesson learned. Now we're just haphazardly whipping the rest of the stuff back in the boat, so I can line the boat up to where the actual portage trail is. Here's 
Well, let's go get her done. Stay further left. Don't go that way. Come up towards me. Come up towards me. You're going to fall. Nice. Relatively short portage, but pretty treacherous. Good size though, eh? Pretty big. The Dene natives in uh, past days that used to paddle this river, they called this lower canyon Dead Man's River. A little bit of a tricky situation here. So yeah, we're gonna have to go to that eddy and then front ferry over that current and then line down the little chute to left of that rock. It doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of churning current and a hole there, and down river is a lot of white water, and it's really hard for me to scout. I'm nervous. I don't want to do any of it. We're going to have to perform this ferry with Buck on the boat too. It's kind of sketchy, but we're going to have to go for it. Just gonna paddle across the river to an eddy over there. So it's not a long portage, but that's the beginning, is literally right up a slippery rock cliff. Oh god. We did it. We made it past um, another portage around a class four and five, loaded the boat up. If all goes well, we'll make it to the confluence and we will have completed the Porcupine River today. However, we still gotta be careful. So we're coming up to the last a major rapid on the Porcupine, a class three plus, and I'm gonna try to solo it. A lot of irregular waves, but I really gave it a good scout and I think I'll be okay. So let's see what happens. Well, that went pretty well. It looks terrifying before you get into it, but then when you're in it, you look like you have so much control that I feel like you're gonna be totally fine. We're gonna be done the Porcupine River today, but this lower canyon here has just been absolutely freaking beautiful. And actually the, the last three or four days have just been spectacular. So it's been awesome, despite the not so great weather that we've been having, that's for sure. <laughs> 